sketching a graph for a situation, lesson 6.4c. As we learned in the previous video, we can analyze a graph from its shape. We can tell if there's a rapid increase or a slow increase, or if there's no increase, no rate of change. We can tell if there was a rapid increase that becomes a slow increase, or a slow one that becomes rapid, or a steady proportional increase. The features of a graph can help us interpret a real-world situation. The axis labels, like days and pages, and unit increments tell us what quantities are being compared. The slope, height, and length of different sections of the graph describe how the quantities are related. We can tell from this graph that the person started reading a lot of pages per day and then slowly read less per day. Now take a look at this. We have a blue vase. If we pour water into this vase at a steady rate, we can sketch a graph to show the change in height of the water in the vase over time. And this vase is a cylinder. It's got straight sides. As the water goes in, it's going to go in at a steady pace, steady rate. Now, since the vase is a cylinder, as the time increases, the water height increases, and the graph is proportional. If we pour quickly, the slope will be more steep, and if we pour slowly, the slope will be less steep. Now look at the shape of this vase. It's very narrow at the bottom, then it widens, and then it gets narrow again. If we pour water into this vase at a steady rate, we can sketch a graph to show the change in height of the water in the vase over time. Since the bottom of the vase is narrow, the water height will raise quickly. Then as the vase widens, the water height will raise slowly. It's got more width to fill. As the vase narrows at the top, the water height will raise quickly again. Our graph would show it rising quickly, then slowing down, then rising quickly again. Sam and Tala built a snowman in the morning. As the sun rose, the day became warmer and the snowman began to melt. As the sun set, the temperature cooled and the snowman stopped melting. So the snowman didn't melt right away. So we're going to start the graph right here. Then the sun rose and it melted, but then the sun set and it stopped melting and remained where it was when the melting level stopped right here. So we can see it starts late, like about right here, then the sun comes up and it starts melting, but then when the sun went down, it stopped melting, so it stayed constant. Jan took her dog for a walk. After a few minutes, her dog chased a rabbit. Jan and her dog were walking, so their rate of speed was slow and steady. It was constant. Then the dog saw the rabbit started chasing it, and the rate of speed increased dramatically because he started running. Bob listened to a podcast. He muted the volume during an ad, then unmuted the volume when the ad was finished. So here we have our volume and the time that he's listening to the podcast. So the volume is at a constant rate. Then it's muted, so we have nothing here. Then the volume is unmuted back to its original level. Now, we can't do an, like a V here to show it going down to zero because it didn't gradually go down, then gradually go up. He muted it completely. So we might be able to say it went straight down at zero and then went straight back up again. But we still have this line to show it was constant, then it was off, and then it was constant. Here's our last one. Dave opened a bank account with $200 in May. He withdrew $50 in June. Then he deposited $100 in July. So the graph is going to start at $200 where he had opened his account. So it's going to start at that amount, $200. Then it's going to decrease by $50. Then it's going to increase and go up by $100. We're now finished with Module 6, and we're moving on to Module 7. We're going to be talking about modeling an equation with a variable on both sides of the equal sign. 
as you're sketching a graph for a situation, look at the words, look for clue words that are going to tell you if the graph is going to have a slope that increases, decreases, or stays constant. Have a great day and join me for Module 7. Bye.